In this short video, we are going to demonstrate a safe system for decoupling and recoupling a trailer. Starting with a decouple, it's essential that you start somewhere safe, ideally flat and level. Having chosen that location, we are going to look for safety at all times by applying the vehicle handbrake, selecting neutral and turning the engine off. Having done that, we are going to use a safe dismount system, three points of contact, to ensure that we don't injure ourselves exiting the cab and remembering to shut the door. Having done that, we apply the trailer park brake by pulling out the red handle, winding the legs down, clockwise lowers, anti-clockwise raises, and it's important that when you've finished, you stow the handle securely to prevent injury. Three points of contact see us getting up onto the catwalk and from here we're in a position to deal with the airlines and electrics. The ABS line here has a clip that prevents it falling out and we'll stow it securely where it should go and reapply that clip. When removing airlines it's a good idea to look away at the point of disconnection to prevent dust or dirt flying up into your eyes. These airlines are quite highly pressured. Removing both electric lines. One of these lines deals with the road lights, indicators, brake lights, and the other deals with auxiliary equipment such as reversing lights, fog lights, interior lighting that's maybe in the trailer. Make sure these are stowed securely in the appropriate places. The red line, of course, is the emergency line that has full air pressure to it, looking away at the point of disconnection once more to ensure our eyes are safe. And we'll stow that securely sliding the collar, sometimes a little stiff to do, making sure that that line is also secure and isn't going to fall down. Dismounting from the catwalk, three point safe contact system, we're now in a position to walk around to the other side, remove the safety chain and pull the handle. The handle should stay forwards in a position like that. In the real world we'd now remove our number plate. On a driving test, you merely need to state that that's what you would do. Returning to the cab, three points of contact, we are now in a position to drive the tractor unit away from the trailer. Before you do that, of course, effective all-round observations, including that blind spot. A safe decouple. Now to look at coupling. First what we need to do is to get the tractor unit close to and straight in line with the trailer. Around one meter is ideal. So from this kind of position you're able to make sure that the vehicle is lined up. If need be to check the vehicle's MOT inspection disc. Very hard to do once you're coupled. Having reached that position of course, safety first, we apply the handbrake. Select neutral before turning the engine off. Three points of contact down of course, remembering once more that when we've done that to shut the door prevents injury or the door being damaged in high winds. Next we really must check the trailer park brake is applied by pulling on the red handle. Walking around to the driver's side once more, we'll include the ride height. We're looking to make sure that the trailer is the appropriate height for the unit. We're now going to start coupling the two together, reversing slowly, sometimes not easy in an automatic truck, until you feel the friction between the fifth wheel plate and the trailer. At that point the vehicle will normally come to a little stop as the friction sort of starts to happen. A little gas and we've moved under the trailer now and we're going to move back in as gentle a technique as we can so that the fifth wheel engages with the kingpin. Sometimes easier said than done in an automatic until we get a good couple. Having done that we're going to select forward gear and do a tug test. We're going to try and drive away only gently to make sure that the handbrake is working on the trailer and it really is connected. 
safely dismounting the cab once more, we can start the routine of actually coupling everything together. Safety first of course, we are going to apply the clip. Safety clip, dog chain, safety chain, call it as you will. That prevents the handle from moving and an unscheduled separation. Back up onto the catwalk with our three points of contact and we're in a position to apply the airlines and the electrics. It really doesn't matter which order you do this in, they've all got to be done. My preference is to start with the ones furthest away from you and then work towards you. This reduces the need to lean across potentially dirty and greasy connections. So we've secured the red line and both electric lines are now going on. Followed by the service line, the yellow line. And the ABS control line. So now we have all of the air and electrical systems to the trailer connected and ready for use. Time for a safe dismount. Continuing our walk around the vehicle, we need to wind the legs, removing it from its storage point, anti-clockwise, and you're going to raise the legs until they're well and truly out the way. before safely stowing the handle. We don't want this swinging out as we're driving down the road. And finally, releasing the trailer park brake by pushing it in. And of course, applying the number plate. On test, you merely need to say, and now I would apply my number plate, before asking for a lights check. What we're looking for is to make sure the road lights work, the brake lights work, individual indicators and we're now in a position to safely drive our vehicle down the road.